Apple's next big thing could be launching way sooner than we initially thought because Mark Gurman believes that we could see an in-person event very soon in the coming months for the mixed reality headsets we have been hearing about that could of course pave the way for the Apple AR glasses that could possibly replace the iPhone. So let's delve into pretty much everything we know about this truly game-changing product. And so, without further ado, make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. And with that being said, let's just tuck in. So I have delved into some preliminary details we know about this mixed reality headset. But as a recap, it's going to be insanely expensive at $3,000. It's going to have dual 8K displays, advanced eye tracking, possibly more than 12 cameras. And in that report, they did say that it was in the late stages of development. And so, yes, we were pretty sure it would really soon. And well, Mark Gurman swoops in and basically clarifies that yes, we could see an in-person event for this mixed reality headset in the coming months. Now the first pretty interesting detail is that yes, this event will be in person and so press and pretty much all the important figures in the world of tech will be attending this event, which I can't lie, does seem a little soon because of course you might know there is something called COVID and it's clearly not over. And so it does seem a little weird that Apple's risking people's lives to check out some cool technology because that just seems pretty on apple like Now, yes, I know the vaccine situation is getting better. And so there might come a point where we can go back to normal with the regular live events. But the pessimist within me is kind of refusing to believe that because this situation isn't getting any better for pretty much the next year or so. And so I don't expect Apple having regular live events to at least late 2022. However, assuming that Apple does follow COVID protocols, I can understand why they want a live audience because this is a first gen product. It's the first major new product category they're entering after, of course, the Apple Watch in 2015 and the HomePod in 2017. And so, yes, this is clearly a big deal to Apple and they want to flex this on stage in front of a live audience. Not to mention that because you have to wear this headset, it's much better getting people to, of course, demo and interacting with the technology at the event instead of doing a press release. Now, when can we expect this event to happen? Well, I'm not really sure because Mark Gurman says it pretty vaguely and that is it should happen in the coming months. And that could be now till the end of 2021. And so if I were to guess, I think there are two possibilities. We could see this at WWDC since some do claim the Memojis in the invites are wearing Apple glasses because you can see app icons in the glasses themselves, but I still do think those are reflections. And so I think this in-person event is more likely to be the September event where we see the iPhones. Because think about it, if Apple wants to give this mixed reality headset the most exposure possible, then releasing it at the September event would make the most sense since of course that is Apple's biggest event by a mile every year since the iPhone is Apple's flagship product. And undoubtedly, they're gonna have a lot of press and media there for the iPhones anyway. And so releasing this as a one more thing does seem pretty plausible. And finally, let's end on some tidbits about the headset. For one, Min Chi Kuo believes that these will weigh around 150 grams, which is actually insanely light. For comparison, AirPods Max are 384 grams. So this is gonna be significantly lighter. And of course, not to mention that the competition right now weighs around 300 grams. So this is gonna be way more comfortable to use. And apparently they're achieving this through some sort of new lens called the Hybrid Ultra Short Focal Length, which apparently has an improved field of view as well as reduced weight and thickness. 
And the final pretty interesting tidbit is apparently this was the last thing Steve Jobs worked on before his death. So this was his idea to make this headset and apparently he called this the TV killer, which sounds pretty interesting, but I can't understand his point of view because if this works as intended, you could pretty much have surround system speakers and 8K displays attached on your face. That just sounds incredible, especially for watching movies and TV shows. So yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Of course, the price tag does worry me, especially if it is $3,000. But I mean, she quoted say a while back that it could be $1,000, which is somewhat reasonable. And so I do hope it is the latter because $3,000 would be absolutely insane. And much like we saw with the HomePod, which was, of course, outrageously priced for a smart speaker and kind of flopped, we could see a pretty similar fate with the mixed reality headset if it isn't priced pretty accessibly. But tell me in the comments below, what would be a pretty acceptable price for this mixed reality headset? Anyways, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out the video in the icon above about WWDC officially being announced for June the 7th. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya peeps.